in question four, you have to find the area of the quadrilateral OABC. So that's the shape, kite shaped looking quadrilateral. So this is horizontal, remember. And what you need, and this is vertical here, and that actually has the point C there. So what you need to do, or our way of doing this, is to make this a rectangle by doing and this down here. So that's the rectangle there. Just pretend all the lines are straight and opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. So the area of the kite shape, or OABC, is going to be the area of that rectangle minus the area of this rectangle here, and triangle, this triangle here, and this triangle here. So what you need to do for this one is to give an arbitrary value A for at, uh, where do we do it, at this point here. So A is going to be capital A, this point here, where that horizontal line touches this y equals 1 on x, that's going to be, I'm going to call out little a, and the corresponding y value for that point, what you do is you sub a into the equation of this line here, which is 1 on x, so where x equals a, the y value is going to be 1 on a, so that's the y value there. Then for point b over here, the y value is the same, so that's 1 on A, because it's the same height, being a horizontal line. So this over here, this y value here is 1 on A. And then, because this point belongs to a different curve, you would get that y value by squaring, square rooting, whatever the x value is. So the square root of what equals 1 on A, and that is 1 on A squared. So that's the x value at that point. And then that means that the x value at this point c is also 1 on a squared. And then the y value for this point or at this point, all you do is sub this into this equation. So 1 on, one on a squared will equal a squared. And all you're really doing is going 1 divided by, so this is 1 divided by, and then the x value is 1 on a squared. And then that would be 1 times a squared on 1, which is just 1 times a squared, which equals a squared. So those are the coordinates of the key points that you need uh, something, some kind of value for, so you can work out an expression for the area of those two triangles and also the rectangle. So starting off, the area of the of OABC is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle minus the area of the two triangles. So, and the area of the rectangle, that's just length times width. So the length there, that's going to be the x value here, which is 1 on a squared, and multiplied by the width, which is really the height, which is 1 on a, and all of that's going to equal something, which I'll work out in the next step. And looking at this triangle first, base times height over 2. Again, that's horizontal, so that's a right angle in here. So the base, I'm going to call that the base there. So that's just the x value at that point there, which is a, and times by the height of that triangle, which is 1 on a. And then that's over 2, so base times height over 2. And then the other triangle down here, this is the base this time, and that has the x value at that point, which is 1 on a squared. So again, base times height on 2, so base is 1 on a squared. The height here is a squared. Again, it's the y value at that point, is the height of that triangle, and then divide that by 2, and then simplifying, this becomes 1 on, I think I've made a boot, but that should be 1 on a, it should be. That becomes 1 on a cubed, and then minus, so a times 1 on a will cancel. That a is really a over 1, and the a's would cancel, and you'd end up with 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, which equals 1, and then all of that equals 1 on 2. a squared times 1 on a squared will equal 1, and then 1 over 2, 
and so, so all of that equals 1 on a cubed is minus 1. So that's an expression for the area of OABC. Okay, so in part 5, if the area of OABC is equal to 7, then the distance AB is equal to what? So just that distance there is what? So what you need to do is just use this result you got in part 4. And so the area is equal to 1 on a cubed minus 1. And you're told that the area is equal to 7. So you just let a here equals 7. So 7 equals 1 on a cubed minus 1. And then solve that for a. So adding 1 to both sides, you get 7 plus 1 is 8 equals 1 on a cubed. Just swapping those two. That's what you can do when what you want is under here. And that's just a whole number. You end up with a cubed equals 1 on 8. And then taking the cube root of both sides, you get a equals cube root of 1 is 1. The cube root of 8 is 2. So that's what a is equal to. And from there, that distance a, b, because that's a horizontal line, it's just the x value here minus the x value here. So for example, if this was 4 and that was 1, that distance would be 4 minus 1. And in this question, the x value at b is 1 on a squared. So just starting off with distance a, b is equal to, say, x2 minus x1. And x2 is 1 on a squared. And then minus, and the x coordinate here is a. And 1 on a squared is 1 on this number here. So squared. And then minus that number again, 1 half. And this is just 1 on, and squaring both numbers in the fraction, you get 1 quarter, minus 1 half. And then 1 divided by a quarter. How many quarters are there in one whole? There are 4, minus 1 half, which equals 3 and 1 half. And that's the distance of AB. And that's the answer to part 5. So that's how you do these five questions in this SAC preparation for VCE math methods, year 12.